How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to respond to a health question. We are just a few days away from Christmas. Yay, Christmas! Which means it's time for chocolate oranges, candy cane hot chocolate, Christmas cookies, and other types of sugary treats. But for a lot of people, once they start getting into this stuff, it can very quickly turn into a downward spiral where you just can't stop eating it. But hey, at least it's not as addictive as crack. <laughs> Right? In this video, I'm going to explain how a sugar addiction develops and answer once and for all if sugar can be more addictive than crack cocaine based on what science has shown. If you are interested to see where I'm pulling my information from, feel free to check out the description below. And without further delay, let's get started. Now, before we start comparing an illegal drug to something you can buy at the grocery store, how do we become addicted to sugar? When you consume sugar, a neurotransmitter in your brain called dopamine is released. Dopamine levels in your body rise whenever you do something that feels good. So the increased dopamine levels after just one Christmas cookie tell your body to do that again because it feels good. And it does so despite the fact that you do not want to add any more fat to your love handles. Eventually, your dopamine levels will reach a point where they can't get any higher and the stomach ache that you have prompts your desire to eat any more cookies. If you eat sugar compulsively, like you might over Christmas, eventually one or two cookies a day will not be enough to max out your dopamine levels. Instead, it might take six cookies to reach your desired dopamine high. That could then turn into a full dozen, and before you know it, you're famous on Sesame Street. So despite the fact that sugar can be very addictive, is it more addictive than crack? Let's take a closer look. According to the Journal of Psychoactive Drugs, there are two very strong similarities between food addiction and drug addiction. The first similarity is that cravings obtained from either food or drug exist in the same neural pathways. This was backed up in 2012 where researchers discovered that food cravings and smoking cravings overlap the same regions of the brain. In addition to this, loss of inhibitory control is present in both food and drug addiction. Which means that once we are exposed to either drugs or sugar, the odds of us turning them down is significantly reduced. And this is interesting and all. But has somebody actually compared crack to sugar? Well, a 2007 study forced drug-dependent rats to choose between either crack cocaine or sugar. And believe it or not, the rats exhibited a preference for the sugar. After that, I then stumbled across a 2013 article from the University of Guelph, Go Griffins! which compared the addictive properties of cocaine and Oreos in rats. The rats from this study savored the iconic cookie just as much as they did the cocaine. So if you generalize the findings of this study, to humans, you might have a case. But of course, there are some pretty big differences between rats and humans. And as a result, there has not been a comparable study done in humans. I mean, let's face it, you'd probably encounter some legal issues trying to do a study where you're getting people addicted to cocaine. So as of right now, it is impossible to say which substance is more addictive in humans. But one thing's for sure, I am going to be a lot more careful next time I'm around a box of Oreos. So back to the original question. Is sugar more addictive than crack cocaine? Based on what we already know from an addiction standpoint, it appears as though they're very closely related. And in rats, you could make an argument that sugar is more addictive. But in humans, it's unclear whether or not one has an addictive advantage 
over the other. So what are you addicted to? Feel free to let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and share it with your friends. And if you'd like to see me make more content, feel free to subscribe and hit the big red button right below me. I release new videos every week. Hey, and while you're at it, why not take a look at some of my other videos? All you gotta do is click on them and it'll take you right there. In any case, thank you all so much for watching. Have a wonderful holiday season with your family and friends. And Merry Christmas.